we travel to Japan to explore the unique art of Kirin cycling with Australia's former UCI world champion. With milliseconds separating the world's top sprinters, track cycling demands precision at every level. Australian sprinter Shane Perkins already has numerous world championship medals to his name, but currently specializes in the Kirin event. The Kirin uh, people in the past have given it the name of boxing on bikes. So basically, you know, if you've got six of the fastest guys in the world um, that are getting taken up to speed uh, by a pacer, you're not allowed to pass that pacer until it swings off. Um, on a 250 metre track, it swings off for two and a half laps to go. A lot of people generally fight to get the bike because um, it's a pretty comfortable position, but obviously there's only one person out of the six that can sit behind there. Sometimes you draw the short straw and you end up at the back, but then that's where your tactics have got to change a little bit and you've got to think, you know, if I'm at the back, the bike's pulling off at 55k an hour. If I sit there and don't move to the front, you know, the pace is before I know it's going to be 75 and it's going to be pretty hard to come from the back. Or, you know, if someone is in the middle of the pack and they decide to go past, you can then obviously follow that wheel to get yourself into a better position. So there's obviously a lot going on in the Kieran uh, that can happen very quickly. You don't want to overthink too, things too much because then you generally uh, miss out on what you need to be doing. Um, but yeah, I think it comes with the experience. You know, I've ridden a lot of Kieran, so I'll try to go out there. I have a bit of a plan, but it's also, um, you've got to go by feel. It's a pretty exciting event, a bit of an extreme sport, if you will. I think in any sport you've got to have an element of bravery, that's, um, that's a bit of a no-brainer but um, certainly with the Kieran at the speeds that we're hitting, um, the number of riders that are on the track while you're hitting those speeds, um, like as an example coming around the last bend, coming up to the finish line you could be four wide and guys are kind of, you know, you're doing 75 to 80k an hour and we're, we're knocking each other, bumping into each other. You've certainly got to have a bit of bravery there where, you know, if you ease up for just half a, half a second or less, you know, that could be the, the chance that you get to win or lose. So you've just got to bite the bullet and just keep going all the way to the line. It's always interesting to me when someone sort of says, oh geez, you know, he won by this much, or oh, he only won by that much. They still won. It, it doesn't matter how much you win by, half an inch, a centimetre, you've still won. That's, that's all it needs to be. And for me, that's, that's what kind of excites me about the Kieran. You know, I love it uh, from that point of view, the jostling and yeah, the fact that you've just got to always keep fighting to the finish, no matter what, what kind of happens in the race. As a world-class cyclist, Perkins follows a grueling training regime throughout the year, but still finds time to spend what would usually be his off-season as a rider on the unique Japanese Kirin circuit. If you were to look at an international Kirin, you've got six riders, you know, carbon bikes, carbon wheels, all the latest technology, uh, following a Derny uh, motor-powered, um, taking us up to speed. And there's also a lot of rules that govern, you know, no headbutting, you know, you can't collude, that sort of thing. Japanese Kirin is fairly different, it's almost a bit of a different sport really. You don't have a dirty pacer taking up to speed, you have a, you know, somebody on a bike who's getting told, um, you know, how fast to go, what pace to go, when to pull off, when to stay on. Um, you also have nine riders um, instead of six, so there's a lot more. You also have riders who, in a way, work together. Um, that sort of thing, so obviously in international you're not allowed to collude, here you are. There's betting involved, um, you know, when you, when you go into a race, basically you get locked up for four days, you're not allowed to leave, no telephones, no mobiles, no computers, no Wi-Fi, none of that sort of stuff, so uh, it's a pretty serious business, I guess you'd say. Yes, it's a sport, but um, it's also kind of a business, um, but yeah, it's, it's something for me, that's uh, always interested me. And I love the fact that um, you know, throughout the whole year, I basically get to race my bike. Um, they race Kieran's over here, I think at least once a week, there's a race going on. So for us, it's a great opportunity to come over and I guess enjoy our job. You know, six years or seven years on now, I'm still here and, and loving it. <laughs>